it's really scary if you think about like how they can kind of erase people if they want to like i don't know it's it's gotten out of hand i'm not saying it's not real but for god's sakes do they have to be the like mainstream narratives writer die chick like they can't ask questions You're listening to the Brittany Richardson Experience. Hmm, viewer discretion is advised. You might have heartaches, headaches, eye aches, and uh, you might end up throwing up later. Oh, I know, because I was like messing around with filters. Like, oh, shoot, sorry, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> um, I don't know how to get the sunglasses off. Darn it. Hang on. Well, like I was trying them on and then like the video, I had to run in the bathroom and get my lipstick real fast. And then um, now I can't take it off. So what the heck? Unless I go to the video settings, maybe. Let me see. Okay. It looks like I can take them off. What is this? I'm sorry. I'm just, I hope I'm not like hanging up your day or anything. Oh, wait, a mask. Oh, I can have a white mask. Yay. You're like, look, I got a mask. Yay. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Well, since they're so, impo- I mean, I mean, I'm just saying that tuberculosis and the flu are more deadly, but they're treating this one like, like it's, they're, they're overreacting. There's a video from way back when SARS and MERS happened, like mm-hmm. in 2008 or whatever. And there's a guy that said that he thought that, well, multiple people said that they thought the reaction was an overreaction to what they did at the time. Imagine what they would say now, like. I'm not saying that COVID's not real. I'm just saying that uh, uh, this is a can of worms. Okay. The first thing that made me feel <laughs> yeah. like not to trust what they're saying is the fact that they were letting doctors diagnose COVID without an actual test having been done. And I was like, I don't think that's right. That doesn't belong in the numbers. Mm-hmm. And so when they were allowing doctors to assign the, the cause of death as COVID with no test being performed, Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I feel like that, why is that happening? And now people are getting scared for why it might not have been COVID. It's like, that's what makes it like the twilight zone. Cause everybody's just going with it. I'm like, wait, you have to ask questions. Didn't they have some yeah. sort of funding thing with that as, as well? Like if you count it as COVID, then the hospital gets so much and yeah, like 30,000 or something, but, but yeah. people, that are, people that are committed to that narrative, they don't want to hear any of that. They're just like, oh, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. And you're like, but you can't even question yeah. it because the moment you do on Facebook or YouTube is I found out the hard way. All I did, like yeah. all I did was put a mask on. And I said, even if this was just the flu, I know that having a barrier does help yeah. in a pandemic. Mm-hmm. So that's all I did was I said, I'm putting on a mask for my safety. Yeah. And you know, my video was pulled. That's because, so weird. I wonder yes. why. Yeah. Well, they said it's because I was talking about a controversial topic. And I'm like, all I said was I'm wearing a mask because I've been in the medical field before. I worked for a hospital, yeah. you know, during H1N1, we all had masks as a precaution. And I'm like, that's what I know to do from my training in the past. Mm-hmm. And my video gets pulled. It's stuff like that that makes it all more suspicious. Like why? It's almost like they're trying to hide something. That's if it weren't for their clandestine type behavior, I wouldn't. My bullshit meter wouldn't be pinging as much as it is right now. Because mm-hmm. it's something's not right about how they're behaving about the whole thing and the censorship thing. There's never been a time when people couldn't participate in discussions and talk about different treatments and stuff. You notice like different doctors, they can't even talk about treatments. They just go, nope, it's whatever Fauci says and the vaccine is the only answer and whatever, which Mm -hmm. is not true, but you can't tell people that. Yeah, it's become so politicized. Well, it's like people that believe all, I'm not saying it's not real, but for God's sakes, do they have to be the like mainstream narratives right or die chick? Like they can't ask questions. They're just going to be there till the end, no matter what they say. It's like, oh, which says a lot about the state of the country right now, (laughs) whether you're pro or anti Trump. It's like, have we come this far with this whole thing where Twitter's got to pull an account because they're worried the president is going to incite a riot. It's like, holy shit. 
well, what happened to our nation? That's the whole thing is like they're taking a lot of stuff out of context. My friend um, Benjamin Epstein, he's really smart, and no, he's not related to the Epstein dude. <laughs> but he he he's in the middle, like like I am, and he summed it up perfectly. You can't have like a censorship of. It wasn't just Trump. It during the election, it was the entire conservative viewpoint they were just deleting stuff off facebook and twitter because they were favoring their political bias but um they're in the middle because they uh if they act like a publisher they have to be careful because then they can get you know slapped for libel or slander but if they act like a what's the other thing there's two different things they could be they could they they have to be careful how they handle things so they don't get in trouble but um but somehow they have some kind of immunity but we all know they're getting paid by the left side and the media is in their back pocket i'm just going to read you some of these comments cuz he he the way he says stuff is like perfectly sums it up like it's it's what i wanted to say that i i wasn't articulate enough to say Many conservative commentators have been banned from Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And then he uses a quote, when you tear a man's tongue out, you make people wonder what you were afraid he might say. But what Parler doesn't do and what Apple is demanding it do is that it censor conservative political speech. That's what's really being censored because Twitter is fine with threats of violence as long as it comes from the approved points of view. Yeah, the companies function as near monopolies through government favors on an understanding that they are public platforms, a public square. Being that it was a public square, they were obligated to allow people to speak on the issues of the day. It also granted them some protection from things like copyright infringement, slander lawsuits, and the like. Or Twitter and Facebook could choose to act as a publisher. If so, they could choose what gets published, but it would lead them, but it would lead them liable for being sued for things like libel, slander, copyright infringement, and the like. Instead, big tech dwells in the place in the middle, dwells in a place in the middle not quite publisher, not quite platform, but getting plenty of legal favors from the government, which is how they were able to act. Now they're attempting to overwhelm the political discourse by censoring political speech, preventing people from discussing the most important issues of the day, but only one side, demonstrating favoritism. Ironically, the classical definition of fascism, the type that existed in Italy under Mussolini, was a union between government and the largest corporations, which is precisely what this is. The people who accused Trump of being a fascist have embraced fascism in their attempt to drive him from office. If you think this ends well, very foolish. Rioters over the summer communicated on Twitter openly, freely, and still do, as does the Ayatollah of Iran. He threatened to nuke Israel and still has a Twitter account. When President Trump literally said, go home in peace the other day, it was censored. So this is not about censoring dangerous speech. It's about censoring political speech. Any serious-minded per person should be very concerned with that. Unfortunately, there are not so many serious people and that's all I'll read for now, but um, it's, I screen captured the whole thing. I might see if he'll let me borrow it to put like somewhere, but like, I mean, mm -hmm. wow, that, that about says it right there. Like, cause Trump literally told the writers to go home. And then all I heard people say was, oh, he told them to attack. Oh, and yeah, that's why I like to watch like the whole live. Like I've spent three hours watching them storming the Capitol. I wanted to see like every moment and like what transpired. Yeah, And then I'm seeing all these news articles that are making claims that didn't happen. It's really scary if you think about like how they can kind of erase people if they want to. Like, I don't know. It's, it's gotten out of hand. I think what's going to end up happening is people are going to start like finding other routes like they are now starting. So the thing with Facebook... Um, I don't know if you watched that whole, like, I think it was three hours where Zuckerberg and um, Jack Dorsey, who owns Twitter, they had to go, yes. was it the Supreme Court? And they mm -hmm. got, like, cross-examined or whatever. And um, I watched that whole entire thing. And uh, they, f they were trying to get Zuckerberg to admit that there's somehow that he can if you have the Facebook app or you're a user or whatever, they have the ability to like go and look at all your files and look at what brow everything that you search on the web. They have a way to get a hold of all your information just from Facebook. I don't know how they do it. It's some kind of program. But so I don't I don't use the Facebook app on my phone at all. So on especially on the and that's, phone I have now. Yeah, and it's in your security like 
notifications and what you sign up for, but who reads all that crap, right? You know, it's like a hundred pages of fine prints. And they, I think they were claiming that they were doing it only because of the automated marketing on Facebook was the only, but at the same time, it's like scary that they just have that ability. You know what I mean? And then Facebook owns Instagram now. So I deleted the Instagram app off my phone. I still have it on my computer, but Mm -hmm. they're not, I don't want them on my phone. And they're, by the way, everybody, there's a way around. So you can use a browser. If you want to get on Facebook on your phone, use like a browser. And then you can, if you want to check your messages, you just hit the three little dots on the top that says desktop site. Click that and you should be able to just check your messages without messenger. You're welcome. I've been doing that for years. <laughs> Found a way you around it. Thought. Yeah. That's crazy. I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs>